Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, we got ESPN down in America, so I'm not watching too much of the TSN or the sports nets anymore. But uh, obviously, you know, you know, Babs did did what he did. He uh, he tried to get to the the group to the best position as possible, and I think he deserves a little bit of credit. You know, even though uh, you know, I think it was maybe time for a change over there to spark the team. Um, and he was there for four years, and I think uh, you know they're pretty pretty successful in those in those four years. The list incident with Mitch made a lot of headlines up here. Obviously, did you ever experience Babcock or think that he crossed the line at all with some of his tactics to get the most out of you guys? Uh, I mean, sometimes. Uh, you know, I I, you know, I think Babs is a good coach. I uh, I just you know sometimes his methods I think weren't weren't the greatest. So. Um, you know, that's just the fine line between players and coaches. I think you know, as a coach, you got to take that responsibility to to kind of have your players backs, and uh, you know, that's when you get the best out of them. What's the biggest thing that he did for your career in a positive way? Well, I mean, I think uh, his attention to details, you know, second to none. I've never met somebody that you know prepares like he does. So uh, you know, when it comes to that level, I think I learned a little bit from him. You know, just preparation, learn how to, you know, scout different teams and play against different players and just learn their tendencies and find the best way possible to, you know, to be the most effective against those uh, players. So, um, you know, that, that definitely helped.